Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. When we talk about first in aviation, we will more likely to heard the name of Wright Brothers and its flyer. But who was behind the success of world's first heavier than air power driven aeroplane flight? An airplane manufacturer designs the aircraft and manufactures it. Pilot flies the aircraft, but the mechanic or aircraft maintenance engineer maintains it to ever the condition. So today we are going to talk about world's first mechanic aircraft maintenance engineer who played many roles and contributed widely to our aviation industry Charles Edward Taylor he was born in log cabin on May 24 1868 in Cerro Gordo Illinois from beginning he was very enthusiastic towards his work at the age of 12 he worked as a binder at Nebraska State Journal later he became a tool maker At the age of 24 he met and married Henry Tarweber who was from Dayton Ohio. This was a life changing moment for him since opportunities in Ohio was better they moved to Dayton Ohio. There Stoddard Manufacturing Corporation hired him to make farm machinery and bicycles. Wait, bicycles there were two brothers who manufactured it in town and later he went to work for them. Initially Taylor used to fix bicycles but took over entire business as Wright brothers spent more time on their aeronautical pursuits. By 1902 the brothers fully trusted Taylor to run the shop in their absence while they went to Kitty Hawk to fly gliders. Wright brothers when they realized that there is no engine in United States which met their power to weight ratio requirement they turned to Edward for the job. Edward Taylor designed and built first aircraft engine used by brother which was aluminum copper water cooled engine in only 6 weeks. The aluminum block and crankcase weighed 152 pounds and was made either in Miami or Bucky Iron and Brass Works near Dayton, Ohio. The Wright needed an engine with at least 8 horse power but engine that Taylor built produced 12 within weight limits and then Wright brothers made and first successful flight. which began the era of airplanes in December 17 1903 in 1908 Taylor helped Orville the younger brother to build and prepare the military flyer for demonstration to US army at Fort Myer Virginia on September 17 1908 the airplane crashed due to shattered propeller seriously injuring Orville and killing army lieutenant Thomas Selfridge Taylor was among the first to reach the crash site In 1909, Taylor accompanied Wilbur with a new Model A flyer to Governor Island at New York City. Wilbur was to make several overwater flights at Hudson Fulton Celebration, demonstrating airplane to millions of New Yorkers and showcasing new technology of practical flights. Taylor assisted Wilbur, though he did not fly with him. He made sure the engine worked perfectly for daring and dangerous overwater trips. He installed pair of water catite canoe to flyers low wing to for buoyancy just in case of emergency landing in Hudson River. Charles was now leading mechanic in Wright Company formed in 1909. When Calbreath Perry Rogers made his trip from Long Island to California in 1911 in his newly bought Wright aircraft, he paid Taylor $70 a week, a large amount at that time to be his mechanic. Taylor followed the Rogers flight by train, frequently arriving before Rogers to make any required repairs and prepare aircraft for next day flight. Taylor worked for Wright Martin Company in Dayton until 1920. He later moved to California and invested his life saving in several hundred acres of real estate near Salton Sea, but venture failed. He returned to Dayton in 1936. Taylor and Orville helped Henry Ford in planning, moving and restoration of Wright family home and one of the bicycle shops to Ford Debron Michigan. Orville gave Taylor an annuity of $800 a year. Now in 1941, Taylor returned to California finding work in defense factory. He had a heart attack in 1945 and was no longer able to work. By 1955 his annuity and social security income were inadequate and due to health problem he ended up in Los Angeles County Hospital. When his problem was publicized the aviation industry raised fund to move him to private facility. 
Unfortunately, he died on Jan 30, 1956. Taylor is buried at Portal of Folded Wing Shrine to Aviation in Burbank, California, a shrine to aviation history. We all have seen the life journey of Charles and how he became world's first mechanic. Now let us see his legacy. First Charles Taylor Master Mechanic Award is named in his honor. Even Charles Taylor Aviation Maintenance Science Department at Emory Riddle Aeronautical University is named after him. Aviation Maintenance Technician Day is observed in 45 US states on May 24, that is Taylor's birthday. Posthumously, his name is inducted into National Aviation Hall of Fame in 1965. Now, Far Mechanic Certificate features Taylor image rather than Wright Brothers used to feature in Airman Certificates. Truly, Charles was man behind the curtain. Without him, the history couldn't be possible. Even today, the aircraft technicians and engineers are underrated. But from life journey of Taylor, we all realize the importance and value of Amy and technician. So, let us respect all our technician and Amy, who work day and night in heat and cold, even in rain, to make plane ever the so can pilot fly it. A big salute to Charles Taylor and all technicians and engineers around the globe. Share this video to aware everyone about role of Amy technician in aviation and don't